Welcome back everyone, Sweet Oscars here, and I am back with another unboxing video. Today we're going to look at the Sculptures Lunch Figure by Van Presto. And of course this was available as a Crane Machine prize in Japan, hence the Crane King logo there. So here is the nice figure, it's a pretty heavy box, uh, it must be solid plastic uh, as, some, uh, as most of these figures are. And I want to show you the box quickly, it's a pretty nice box, uh, typical Van Presto. Crane King uh, figures, they're a nice uh, shot in the background and a little bit of the about the sculptor that uh, crafted her. I like how they give a quick bio in the back of these figures and the bottom of the box. So uh not going to waste any time, I'm going to go right into opening this figure. And uh, of course this is lunch as uh, in, in her uh, normal stage or I don't know if that's her normal stage actually or... Her normal face, uh, the good girl face, even though she's got a, a gun, it looks like, there in her hand. But uh, she's always been kind of a badass, and she played a bigger role in Dragon Ball, but uh, didn't really play much of a role in Dragon Ball Z, so it was kind of a, she was kind of a, uh, you know, a small character in that series. But uh, she's a nice character nevertheless, and I, I've, I never really see figures of her, which is the reason why I decided to pick this one up. And it was actually a very good price for this figure. Uh, there is a, the, the badass version uh, of uh, her blonde self. Uh, there's a figure of that out there as well. I, I should rephrase that. There's a figure of her badass blonde self out there that's what i meant to say so as you guys know she's nieces in the in the series she's known for her nieces and then that kind of changes her hair color uh from uh you know like a darker like a dark brown to a blonde and she just uh turns kind of a badass and just doesn't care about anything or anyone and uh so there is a figure like that of her also kind of riding one of those uh capsule corp uh, motorcycles i think like a little vehicle with a, a nice Dragon Ball logo in the, uh, on the bottom. And uh, that one's a lot more uh, rare than this figure. So I haven't been able to find that one at a decent price. I've seen it on eBay and other vendors for upwards of like $80. So, which is outrageous for these figures. Uh, these should not cost that much. So that one is a very rare figure. A lot of people really like that one, of course. So I don't have that one yet. The blonde version of Lunch. But uh, I'm hoping I can uh, find her eventually. So here are all the pieces for the figure. And uh, again, very heavy plastic, solid plastic. And uh, so her head just comes with a mechanical joint. And it should slide in like so. There you go. Nice and easy. So there is the full figure, and this one, I gotta say, is looking rather nice. This is a very nice figure of lunch. I love the detail that they put into these figures. I've said it before about Bam Presto uh, Sculptures series. Very simple figures, very simple poses, except for Trunks. Trunks was uh, a badass pose, but uh, kind of, uh, you know, very simple little poses, but for most of them. But uh, very nice figure, figures nonetheless. You guys can see the... Uh, the full figure there let me actually zoom out so you guys get the full pose there is the full figure very nice uh, kind of a uh, whimsical you know uh, glimpse of uh, lunch yeah and her name is funny I know so let's try to zoom in here so you guys can see her detail there is her face very nice sweet looking expression on her very nicely painted eyes, very, very, very nicely done. Just beautiful. Uh, her hair, again, one flat, single color. But uh, you guys can see that it's very nicely sculpted. So kudos to the sculptor who crafted her. Very nicely sculpted. And so they really didn't need to add that much paint. Uh, although it would have been nice. But because of the dimension that the model already has, I guess they didn't. And uh, again, very simple paint job, but nicely done. Clean lines. You guys can see here that her little uh, ribbon, her little bow on her head, nicely painted as well. Nice clean lines there. Uh, we can see her nice dress here. Very nicely done as well. Nice little details there on the little buttons. You guys can see it there. A little bit of a seam here from the mold. Nothing too major. 
There it is. And then uh, her little apron. And I love how her hand is uh, in her little pocket there. Very nice detail. I love how they did that. Uh, nice uh, job on her little pocket there. And uh, the material is very nice. It's nice solid plastic. So uh, I love the way they make these figures. And I can't believe these are prices, you know, on crane machines. It still blows my mind. Very nice detail on her little bow there in the back. Maybe a little bit of a close-up there. Oh, too far. Camera doesn't want to focus when I zoom in too fast. Or too far. So there you go. Even these li this little detail here on the side. A very nice detail. Um, so yeah, that and her dress, of course, a nice blue color. Solid color. And then down to her little border there on the bottom of her dress. And uh, nice little heels on her. Nice uh, glossy paint on the heels. And she's wearing kind of these dark gray uh, stockings. And she sits, uh, she stands very nicely on her base. And uh, uh, she has that same uh, kind of like smoke, smoky plastic on her base. So it looks nice. It's uh, nice, nicely presented. So, but what am I doing? Uh, the actual, the actual figure isn't complete yet. Uh, she does have this gun that goes in her hand. Like so, and it's uh, very easy to put in, very easy to slide in there. You can see that she grabs it very nicely and uh, her finger, her index finger, just goes in, into the trigger very nicely where the trigger goes and it looks very awesome. Now this piece here, I don't know if it's part of the gun. Let me look at the box. I think it is part of the gun. Oh yeah, sorry, That's, uh, that goes on the back of the gun. So it goes uh, here, I guess. Let's take the gun out. So yeah, this little piece of plastic here, it just goes on the back of the gun. Like so. So there's uh, her little gun. Nicely detailed. And I love the details that they give every one of these pieces. There it is. And of course now we can uh, put it back in our hand. And uh, there you go. So the piece of plastic kind of, uh, you know, kind of touches her dress there. But it's nothing to complain about. Hope I put that piece right. I, it looks right. So there it is. Uh, yeah, I, I love the way she's holding that gun. She looks very cool. Very nice figure of lunch. Uh, yeah, I really liked it when I saw it. I just had to have it. Um, we really fell in love with this figure. So it's a very, very nice figure. Uh, very well made. W very well sculpted. You know, painted and all. And like I, I like I, I keep repeating myself. And just so you know, don't go expecting like a big fancy figure from these uh, from these things. Uh, you know, they're very simple figures, but nevertheless, they're very nice, very solid figures. I love how solid they are. Uh, the plastic is just solid and heavy, and I love that. I love that they have weight to them, that they're not just like really lightweight plastic. But anyway, so there's that unboxing of the Bam Presto uh, lunch figure. Uh, I'm going to try to get the blonde version of her that's riding a, a vehicle. That one looks very awesome, very, very nice figure as well. And just for some uh, context, I'm going to bring in some of the other ones that I have. Of course, I have this Goku here. Very whimsical, also kind of uh, drinking his, you know, water from his canteen, holding his hat and his goggles, a little backpack and his uh, his uh, staff there. Very cool. And then, uh, of course, I have this Trunks here. Now, this Trunks is on a much smaller scale, or maybe it's just that he's uh, kind of flying through the air. He looks a little smaller than these other figures but again trunks is a little short he's not the tallest character in dragon ball since uh you know he's vegeta's son <laughs> kind of shorties there but uh you know it just looks a little too small but again i think it's the pose and the fact that his legs are up in the air but uh those these are some of the ones i have so far of the bam presto series of dragon ball figures i do have master roshi but uh i think i stored them away i'm running out of room in my collection room so I stored them away and I can't find them, but I know I have Master Roshi somewhere. Uh, but these are the ones that I pulled out for this video. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, that's the lunch figure uh, unboxing. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. 
if you did. And uh, stay tuned for the next unboxing video. See you guys next time.